All right, so as I promised, um, in the lecture, we're going to go ahead and look at the assignment um, sheet for your critical review paper. Um, there is no need to start stressing about it right now, and um, it is not due until week five uh, for the semester. Um, so first, we're going to walk through the paper, and then I will go back and point out um, where the specific assignment requirements are. So the objective of this paper is that it should be um, a well-developed and grammatically correct review um, of a chosen item. It should briefly summarize and then critically evaluate that chosen item. So you could choose anything from a movie, a TV show, a book, a song, video game, podcast, um, anything of that nature. And for the assignment, um, you should address a specific target audience while you write your review. So I have an example here um, that the, the review could be directed towards parents of middle-aged students and whether the video game um, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is appropriate for children of that age to play. Um, the review can be either negative or positive, but it needs to be written specifically for the intended audience. And remember to focus on evidence or rhetorical strategies the audience might find appealing. Um, your papers should include summaries for the chosen item. Um, that way your audience kind of has a background knowledge of what the item is before you actually go into the um, review slash evaluation portion. Um, and then the paper needs to be between 600 and 700 words in length. It needs to be typed, double-spaced, follow MLA documentation style, limit summaries to less than 200 words. Um, I would recommend um, having them less than 150 words um, just because you still want to have sort of an introductory paragraph. And then for the grading portion, um, I apologize, this should say 10% um, because the draft is 5% and the final um, draft is 5%. So um, going back through, I want to give um, kind of an example for rhetorical strategies um, before I talk about assignment requirements. Um, so I mentioned that a review could be, um, directed towards parents of middle school age students. So if I were writing this paper because I absolutely adore Skyrim, I would say that, um, Skyrim itself is now so outdated from a graphic standpoint that it is less gory and less violent than certain video games like Call of Duty. Um, because of the outdated graphics, it is not as realistic and therefore presents more of a fantasy type of violence. So that's kind of what I mean by reviewing it and directing it specifically towards um, a narrowed audience. All right, so going through and looking at the actual requirements, so you have to choose an item and then you have to summarize, oop, summarize that item as well as critically evaluate. And then you also have to choose a specific target audience for um, the evaluation. Um, of your chosen audience. Some of the other requirements are paper length and limiting summaries. And another um, helpful tool for keeping in mind um, or for things to reference during the writing process is the rubric that I have set up for um, your critical review papers. So it says that it meets all of the requirements um, and that it provides multiple examples and sufficient evidence from the item. 
Um, you are welcome to use outside source information, but it might be easier because of how short the paper actually is to just use things specifically from the item that you're choosing. For example, if you're choosing a song, um, use song lyrics or, um, you know, if you were using Skyrim, you could just use um, examples of different quests. Um, make sure, though, that you, if you do um, use direct quotations that you reference it um, with an in-text citation. Um, for this paper, I would just like for you to have a works cited page with the um, citation for the item that you chose. And um, the last thing to keep in mind for the writing assignment is um, that it is, or that there are no sentence level or minimal sentence level errors um, that are distracting. Right, and that is it that I have for this assignment walk walkthrough. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and all that good stuff. I hope you have a great week.